I recently added some driving lights to my Jeep, and I had to solder an electrical connection, so I put this video together to show you guys how easy it can be. Once I got everything installed, I realized the provided wiring harness was too short to reach the far side of the Jeep. So here's what you'll need to solder an additional length of wire. We've got our wire strippers and cutters, We've got our burn matic soldering iron, solder, wire, safety glasses and gloves, heat shrink to go over the solder, handy little uh, magnifying glass with two wire crimps on it, and the butane to fill up the torch. Use the wire cutters to cut your desired length of wire, and then strip the wire ends that you'll be soldering. Place the wires that you want to solder together into the clamps. Next, you want to ignite the ST500 in soldering iron mode. It's also a mini torch, and it's a heat gun. But for our purposes, we want to make sure the soldering tip is on. Once it heats up, place the tip along with the electrical solder on the wires, slowly moving back and forth across the area so you have good coverage. Once the solder is cool, which only takes a few seconds, sleeve a piece of heat shrink over the area. Then, place it back in the clamps and use the heat gun attachment to shrink the tubing around the electrical connection. So that's it. It took about 10 minutes to make the solder connection. I was able to finish the installation and the lights look great.